When an aircraft banks for a turn, the lift force tilts creating two components of lift, the vertical and horizontal components. The vertical component acts up, supporting the weight of the aircraft. The horizontal component acts towards the turn's direction, also known as the centripetal force. Two other forces are also created, the centrifugal force and the resultant load. The centrifugal force is an apparent force that pushes outward on a body moving around a center, originating from the body's inertia. While the resultant load refers to the equal and opposite reaction to the total aerodynamic force generated by the wings. In straight and level flight, this force is equivalent to the aircraft's weight. However, during a turn, the resultant load is the combined effect of both the aircraft weight and centrifugal force. The ailerons control the bank angle. The elevators control the angle of attack. And the rudder coordinates the turn, preventing adverse yaw. Adverse yaw is the tendency for an aircraft to yaw in the opposite direction of the turn due to unequal lift force on the wings. In a coordinated turn, there are various factors to pay attention to, which are the load factor, turn radius, and rate of turn. The load factor represents the ratio of lift to weight. In level flight, where lift equals weight, the load factor is 1. However, as the bank angle increases, the total lift also increases, ensuring the vertical lift component balances the weight. A load factor of 2 indicates twice the amount of stress on the aircraft, so as load factor increases, the stress on the airframe also increases. Turn radius is the horizontal distance an aircraft travels while making a turn. It depends on the bank angle and airspeed. The steeper the bank angle, the faster the airspeed, and a smaller turn radius. The turn radius is measured from the center of the turn and varies according to the bank angle and the square of the true airspeed. The rate of turn refers to the rate at which an aircraft executes a turn measured in degrees per second. When airspeed increases, the turn radius also increases, and when the rate of turn increases, the turn radius decreases. A standard rate turn is a turn where the aircraft makes a 360 degree turn in precisely two minutes. This means it turns at a rate of three degrees per second. This can be flown correctly using the turn coordinator in the cockpit.